Hey everyone, I'm here with my little guy Jackson and together we are going to show you how to make homemade bubbles. Jackson's going to help me do all the pouring. I'm going to show you how to do it very easily, very inexpensively, uh, enough bubbles that uh, would last you the entire summer and Jackson's going to be my little helper. <clears throat> are you my little guy? Yeah, no, I'm your big guy. Okay, you're my big guy. So I find an easy thing to make them in is a uh, used uh, juice can and we are going to put one cup of warm water right into there. Do you want to do that, Jackson? I'll hold the jar. Okay, so you put one cup of water in. Do you want to do the whole thing? No, I think that one cup of water in. <laughs> what, one, one cup, so all the water that's in there. Everything in. Good job, buddy. You didn't spill a single thing. And then the next thing we're gonna add is uh, two tablespoons of glycerin. This is easy to find in your pharmacy. It's about $3 for a bottle like this. So Jackson, do you wanna do the pouring for this very carefully? I'm using uh, two, two tablespoons are either 30 millimeters. Fill it right up to the top, very top. Yep, and stop. Good job. Pour that right into the water. Whoa. Wow. You mix? <laughs> We're gonna mix it pretty soon. And then the last thing that we need is just regular dishwashing soap. I chose one that's uh, biodegradable, thought maybe a little bit safer for the kids. And we're gonna do four tablespoons of this, so 60 milliliters if you're in Canada, four tablespoons if you're in the United States. And no. Jackson, can you squeeze that yeah. into there? Hold it down a bit. Yeah, good job. So fill it right up to the top like you did the other stuff. Good job. Do you want to Me? pour it in? Yeah. Okay. No. You do it? Yeah. Don't. Okay. Right into our water. One more of those. And almost get ready to turn it over. Give it one more squeeze and you got it. Good work. So now we all, all we have to do is give it a good stir. Yeah. Mix it all in. And we have almost a full can of uh, juice of bubbles. Okay, that's probably pretty good. Now that we have our homemade bubble mixture made, I'm gonna give you guys some ideas to make homemade bubble wands. So one is uh, some chopsticks. I always personally have a whole bunch of these lying around in my drawer after our sushi takeout. And pipe cleaners make um, really great rings for bubbles. So. Uh, and because they hold on to the bubble mixture as well, so they're good for kids. So you can make whatever shape you want. I'm gonna do just a basic circle here and loop it around. Then we're gonna take our chopstick and we're just going to take those two pieces, you know, it's pretty easy to figure out, and uh, wrap my pipe cleaner around it till it's nice and, nice and secure. And then you can shape it from there. So let's, uh, do you want to test it out, Jackson? See how our bubble solution is? Should we do it? Okay. 